In this video, I will be going over Syngas. Now, this one can benefit new player and also returning players to see how much the mod has changed. And then we'll use the Syngas on two different builds. First one is the Electrical Edge Radial Motor. And the next one is the Combined Cycle Gas Turbine from Nuclear Tech Mod and compare the efficiency and how much power we can get out of it. So, yeah, this will use the fork which I showcased last week. Check that video out here. And without any further ado, let's get straight into it. Let's start with the production of Syngas first. For this one, we are going to need bedrock ore with high amounts of non-metal content in it. Now, this bedrock right here has exactly that, high amounts of non-metal ore. So, it's what I'm using. As for the every other ore type, the actinide, rare earth, etc. You can just dump them in a conveyor inserter as it will get rid of all of the excess ores. Or you can use them in another build. Now, with the non-metal ore, we first wash it in an ore acidizer with water. This will convert it into its primary fraction, where it can be then centrifuged. And after centrifuging, it will get doubled. Now, this one can then go in another ore acidizer, where it will be treated with liquid hydrogen. This will prioritize the higher weight of the component that are present in it. In this case, it will be coal. And once that higher weight fraction will go in as another centrifuge, we will get 18 pieces of coal fragments which will be converted into 2 pieces of coal dust. To do this, I am using the combinator funnel as it doesn't use any power. And uh, yeah, we get a lot of coal dust out of this thing. Hydrogen, by the way, can't be produced in a chemical plant now. You will need the electrolyzer for it. However, using the electrolysis machine, you can get a lot more coal out of the entire process, but that also requires more power. And we are trying to save power, which is why you will see power saving upgrades in many of the machines here. So once the process is done completely, I ended up with 6.75 stacks of coal dust. That's uh, 432 pieces of coal dust. And uh, in total, we used roughly 500,000 G of power. Finally, to convert this into syngas, we combine in a pyrolysis oven the coal dust with steam and that will give us syngas. So, in total, 432,000 millibuckets of syngas and uh, yeah, this is the amount of power that we used, over 500, okay, 536 million. And uh, yeah, total power used was 920 million HE. Now, we take that same amount of syngas, 432,000 millibuckets. And I'm going to first run it in an electrical edge setup. This one uses the radial motor along with uh, what 10 generators attached to it. And let's see how much power we can pull out of it. We consumed uh, 920 million HE. Let's see if we can get more power compared to that. So yeah, here the generators will start providing power in this central energy storage block. And later in this video, I'm going to show you how to make this single module. So you can scale it up and use it in your builds if you want to. As this entire thing doesn't really produce any pollution, like the combined cycle gas turbine is going to do in the second part of the video. And the cable power is uh, not that much, so it doesn't really heat. You have no chance of it exploding. And we have 50% efficiency on the radial motors. I couldn't get it any higher. I tried. And I will keep on trying. By the way, you can also use gasoline from nuclear tech mod in this fork now. But syngas is easier to produce in my opinion. Finally, with all of the process done and squeezing out every last bit of power from the flywheels and the shaft system, we got just over 1 giga HG of power. So yeah, that's a bit more than we consumed in making the syngas. Now let's take the same amount of syngas and uh, run it through these four combined cycle gas turbines and see how much power we can get out of this. Now with the combined cycle gas turbines, you will need to provide lubrication, the engine oil, in order to make them run completely. These will also need water and will produce dense steam. However, in this case, I am going to process the dense steam separately. So first, let's see how much power only the combined cycle gas turbines use. Now, if you haven't used this before, this will produce uh, some pollution and there is no way you can hook it up to a chimney. So that's that. And once its warm up time is up, its temperature reaches 300 degrees Celsius, you can get the turbine to the max speed so that they will produce power. And setting it to auto is pretty good if you are running a power system where power fluctuates up and down. However, 
we just want to get the max power out in this case so that is why i am going to run these turbines on their max capacity and we are building a bench team at a pretty fast rate so i am going to need more tanks to store this and power levels are slowly going up so we got one giga hg from electrical edge and with the sin gas nearly running out the turbines will automatically power down and we got 828 million hg from this one now we also take in the power from the dense team as it's also the power produced by the combined cycle gas turbines and process it in a leviathan steam turbine that's with 85 percent efficiency so if this were 100 percent efficient this would have been 395 million hg approximately so we got one point roughly 1.2 giga hg in this case which is more compared to the electrical edge variant so yeah the combined cycle gas turbine seems to produce more power than the electrical edge one however do remember that i did not change a single value in the electrical edge config this time not a single value was changed everything is as it should be and this is how you build the electrical edge contraption you place down the radial engine connected using two tachometers and some joint hubs and the tachometers are set to 200 on the 100 percent part and 190 to the zero percent output this is cause electrical edge has now changed its max uh, rpm values to 250 previously it used to be 1000 now it's just 250 connect to this we have 10 generators five on each side and we connect them using very high voltage cable as this entire system needs very high voltage components in order to work then we place down very high voltage relays and these relays will receive the signal from the tachometers that we placed now you can also use a single tachometer as the signal is going to be the same however i just did it for symmetry purposes now in the exporter set the resistance value to 210 ohms place down an rf to he converter and the power storage block of your choice or power cables now in front here we are going to make a braking system or an oh shit system in case the rpm value exceeds our expectations and uh, we connect it with a fixed shaft as the fixed shaft will act like a brake or an energy dumping place for this tachometer set it to 249 and 245 so basically as soon as the rpm hits over 245 the clutch will engage the fixed shaft and the entire rpm value of the engine will come down it will never go above 249 which is very close to the breaking point now we provide syngas to the engine from the top and yeah the system starts running and its startup time isn't that bad to be honest in 20 seconds you will start producing power which is actually pretty fast compared to the other systems that i was testing using the same radial engine so yeah now we are pulling power as soon as the rpm goes over 190 and this one will consistently produce roughly 148.77 uh, thousand hg per second so yeah that's that and you can turn it off by turning off the switch right here and you can dump all of the excess power like this or you can just engage the brake and the entire system will shut down i hope you guys enjoyed this video learned something from it if you did do smash that like button and subscribe for more content like this peace out and stay safe